We bought this Dodge Dart in 1969 from Blackwell Motor Company here in Danville. Um, six weeks after I went back to work, after having our first child, we purchased this car and we've had it ever since. My earliest memory would probably be my first birthday sitting on the trunk of the car uh, with the birthday cake. Yeah, I was eight years old when he bought it. I was his tag along then, until Tony come along. Our father had passed years before that. He was my hero, my father, and my brother. That's what makes it kind of cool. I mean, he bought it new and kept it. Many people wanted to buy it, he just never sold it. He just wanted to keep it. There's something about that car, I don't know what it is, but. I assume it was a sentimental value for him because we bought it new right after our first child was born. So to him, that's the only one out of all the cars we ever owned, he held on to. I'm glad he did. Because now we all got one. I've got one, my brother's got one, and then we've got dads. But So the car had had a minor accident when I was roughly 10 years old. A dog jumped off of the side of a, an embankment into the front of it. So, of course, I hit it, and I stopped. I couldn't find a dog. He was hung up under my car. The front grill was shoved into the radiator. It won't drove after that. He just didn't um, fix it. We just sat it, and we had other car drives. So it just kind of sat on the side for a while, about 40 years. It's a uh, 69 Dodge Dart Swinger 340 four-speed car. It is the original engine and transmission in the car and rear end. It came to me a little over a year ago, maybe longer. The client wanted me to finish putting the car back together, so we had to start over and do some things different. Him and Dad kind of had a little bit of a bond on how they, they just the ideas that they wanted to do. Um, Dad had some ideas that was kind of crazy to other people, but looking at what he's designed, it's actually pretty sweet. But. So we started with renderings and stuff like that, and it is going to be a full mod, tubular suspension, coilover shocks, fuel injection, the works. I could stand here and tell you all the stories that I've learned over the past few years when it came to Bill's lead foot. So Daddy would go through that turn just about every day, just sliding, showing off for this old man. Bill wouldn't let him pass, so we're going down a two-lane county road side by side. Bill trusted us with the job of making sure that those memories continue. His vision and his legacy of this car have touched so many people in the industry, and that is why some of them are coming to us tonight virtually to share this moment with you that they wanted to share and be here in person. You've got Tina Nellis with BASF Refinish. I think you guys know that she has a lot to do with the very pretty paint that's on this car. Tim Morgan with Spinezy Americas and Gil with Speed and Design Hot Rods, who is the one that envisioned and designed this amazing interior that you are about to see. You know, the bumpers are custom fab. Um, Bill wanted them pulled in tighter. The uh, road lights that he wanted, when he told me about them, because that was a ch design change, and I told him no, and, I, and then he talked me into it. <laughs> and then I said, okay, we'll do it. And then um, the air cleaner uh, is a custom emblem. The wheels. The car was built around these wheels. The, the front wheels did not fit this car at all. And uh, Greening Automotive, they custom built one-off hubs to bring the wheels in. The whole suspension is custom, so we can bring and bring the tires in like they should be. So I know you guys are anxious to see the one surprise that we have for you. So Laura, Tony, Brian, we all step up to the hood. Tony had this idea just a very few weeks ago and I took it and kind of ran with it. And then the, the team made this a reality. So the you'll see down at the bottom of the sign when you walk around the car that Bill's signature is at the bottom for him to sign off on the final car. and he also signed off on the car.
No, I think he would be thoroughly impressed with everything. You know, I think the biggest thing to me is that he don't get to see it, but um, it's his design. It's, 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 that's his fame. <laughs> Y'all wasted your time putting it up there. <laughs> We're getting ready to burn the tires off of what he would be in. My husband would be proud of it. Mm -hmm. That would be his dream. I wish they were badass, but they told me not to cuss. So. <laughs> <laughs>